Patterson bowls Knotts to an innings win. After days of delays and disruption, this match finally sprung into life on the penultimate day of the contest. Duckett and Mullaney put Knotts in charge with the bat, before a Fletcher 5 for reduced Worcestershire to 53 for 6 in their reply. Fletcher was back at it at the resumption, tongue his sixth wicket, caught behind, and Worcestershire's problems were deepening. There was no stopping him. Alzari Joseph, the next man to fall, the pair's eight down, Fletcher with seven. Broad dealt with the last of the recognised batsmen, Cox caught in the slips, and Worcestershire down to their last wicket. He'd wrap it up to Pennington the final wicket to fall, the pairs all out for 80, still 320 behind, and almost an entire day to bat through. They'd been absolutely torn apart by Fletcher, who finished with new career best figures of 7 for 37. His bowling took the lion's share of the wickets. And that would be the story at the start of Worcestershire's second innings too, Mitchell out early for 1. The pairs made their way to double figures before lunch was taken, Knott's tails up with the score 10 for 1. Libby and Fell did well after the break, the pair found some stability and played their way to 50 runs. The partnership too was worth 50 when Libby punched one to the boundary. But Fletcher was back in the attack, and it wasn't long before he was back in the wickets. Fell caught at short leg. Three balls later, he had his and Knott's third when Haynes popped a catch straight back to him. Jake Libby is the second top scorer in the county championship, and he showed why. He gave the pairs something to shout about, his 50 brought up with another boundary. Dolivera helped him take the score to three figures, but the partnership would be separated soon after. Libby's knock brought to an end, out to Broad for 64. The pairs found their way to T soon after, the score 114 for 4, Knott's total now 206 runs away. They could only add 10 more runs to the total before Lyndon James had Ricky Vessels out, courtesy of a fine one-handed grab by Duckett. Patterson left them needing just 4 wickets to win, Cox his victim, out LBW for a duck. And then three, another for Patterson. Dolivera's hard work undone when he picked out Mullaney. Knots were on the charge. Joseph was next, strangled down the leg side by Broad. Leach and Tongue were keenly aware that the threat of rain could save them, attacking shots dispensed with. Patterson beat their defences. Tongue bowled by a delightful delivery, and Knots were now just one away from a third win on the bounce. It was left up to him to wrap it up. Pennington trapped LBW, and the bowler was bundled to the ground. His teammates rushed over to celebrate. Knotts haven't seen this much success for a long time. No wins over the past two seasons, and now three back to back. The form has seen them move past Essex into top spot in Group 1. Worcestershire are kept off the bottom by Derbyshire. This week's hosts turn visitors next time out. A short hop to Edgebaston next on the agenda. Worcestershire will face fellow strugglers Derbyshire back at New Road. <laughs>